It's time for Project Mew. Episode 133 of Pokemon Journeys is here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, we're sitting at Far Away Island in the Hoenn region, so that's pretty cool. This man is still pretty suspicious to me. And look at the look at the team. Look at the squad. Very unique. They all look dope. Kind of remind me of Power Rangers a little bit, but I'm really excited to see what this team can do. Okay, so this is like a pretty unique island. They have different kinds of bug Pokemon, Hoenn Pokemon, Alolan Pokemon. Uh, I mean, yeah, starter Pokemon here, Crocodile. That's that's kind of crazy. Again, look at the team. Everyone looks strapped up, ready to go to embrace this new challenge. And it's dope to see. Okay, so it looks like Go is ahead of like this uh, sonar thing that actually, wait, it's actually developed by him. Oh, so Asashi kind of specializes in like the science perspective of things and ah, that's cool to see. I don't know what Gary brings to the table besides being a really, really good battler. I mean, I know he's a researcher at some point and Tsurugi does like ecosystem type discovery. That I mean, everyone has a role to play. That's actually really, really cool. Yo, look at them embracing all the different terrains. Wait, what the heck is that? Swampert? What is Swampert doing here? I forget they wouldn't still fit in all the Pokemon. Tokyo sending a Pokemon out? What does he got? Gardevoir? Verizion? Verizion? Like the legendary? What, what, what is up with like everybody on this? Well, everyone on this team does have a legendary, but Verizion? What the hell? When did he get the Verizion? I mean, it makes sense because everyone on Project Mew has a legendary. I mean, Urshifu's. Reggie's, Suicune for Go. I mean, everyone has a legendary, so that might be the key to help defeat Mew. Ooh, they're picking up Psycho Energy. This could be really dope. This could be it. This could be the moment they um, they meet Mew. Wait, what the heck's going on? Why is he cutting out? How did they cut out all of a sudden as soon as they get close? This man is sus, bro. This man is sussy. Bro, not even the Pokeballs work. Not even the Pokeballs work. If those, if those were Hisuian Pokeballs, those would work. But not even the Pokeballs work. Dude, that's kind of insane that they're climbing like a huge mountain range to get up to the center point. That is just, I could never, I could never do this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Skarmory, what you doing? Skarmory, what's the beef? Oh, the rope. Did they fall off? Does it go fall off? Where's the rope going? That's actually pretty cool. I'm glad that like uh, Go Tokyo Asashi could find an alternate path. And this seems a little bit safer than going just straight up the mountainside. Um, I would prefer to go this way if I absolutely had to do this. Uh, so hopefully they can find a way to go around or go in or, or something that uh, hopefully will lead them to the center where Mew is and we see Mew or something. There's something on the fruit. There's a hair in it. That sounds nasty. But the hair is kind of colored, possibly like Mew? I don't know. That is, uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, the tree where, um, Mewtwo was at the beginning of the series, or middle of the series, where Ash and Go battled it. There is so many alive fossil Pokemon here. Like, they've just been naturally restored or something. Cranidose, Tyrantrum, Sheldon, Lily. I mean, there's there's so many fossil Pokemon here. It's kind of crazy, actually. I like this a lot. So it seems either Mew is an oh, it's Mew. It's Mew. What the heck are you doing? How are they not noticing Mew is behind them though? Whoa, what's coming out the ground? Kabutops. Oh, G fossils. Kabutops. Aerodactyl. That's kind of dope. It sucks that um Gary can't use any of his Pokemon, man. Weavile has to do all the work by itself. Can it handle this? Can Weavile really do this? Oh, it's, it's putting in work. Damn. Weavile doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weavile got them. That's crazy. I did not... Why am I doubting Weavile? Weavile is like a really good Pokemon, right? Why am I doubting Weavile? Oh, Grookey, what the heck are you doing? Grookey, you're not prepared for this. Grookey, this is this ain't for you. What, do you. what did you expect to do? Grookey's trash. Grookey is trash. Relax, man. You only know one move. That makes me wonder, will Grookey evolve? Or will Grookey possibly learn like a brand new move? Because it maybe feels a little bit useless? I don't, I don't know. It was looking at the stick. Kind of weird. So it, it may just happen. Uh, what's coming out of the ground? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Is that, um... Groudon? Groudon? What are you doing here? 
Groudon, what are you doing here? Bro, it's Kyogre. It's Kyogre. What are they doing here? Why are you here? Why is there so many legendaries in this area? What the hell's going on? Why is Groudon and Kyogre in the same spot anyway? That is a bad thing, isn't it? What Project Mew is, is getting kind of insane right now. Well, Project Mew episode 133 of Pokemon Journeys is right there, and it was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. It's really cool to see how the team kind of everyone has their own specialty in some specific field. I still don't know what it is for like Tokyo and Gary, so if you know, let me know in the comments down below. Overall, I enjoyed it. I'm really confused on why Groudon and Kyogre are here. There's some pretty decent world building, but the episode wasn't really that deep. It wasn't anything too crazy, uh, not enough action or anything, it was just really building up the world. So for me, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. This is like a, this is a 7 rating for me. Uh, it's not bad, it's not crazy, but it does give a decent introduction onto the characters and I guess a few Pokemon things in this area. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!